Well friends, it is another cold and snowy day out and it is time to eat something hot, hearty, filling, and cheap for dinner. This is my Broke Girls One Pot Hearty Rice Dinner. This recipe is going to feed two hearty appetites or three to four small to medium appetites. So I'm going to show you how to make this with just a few simple ingredients. A quick thank you to all my PayPal and Cash App contributors. All right, so here are my ingredients. To start with, all you're going to need is one pot. Hopefully you have a large frying pan like this. You'll also need just a small assortment of your favorite herbs and spices. For me, I'm going to use some soy sauce here. Now, if you don't have soy sauce packets left or just a little bit left in a bottle, I'll give you the conversion for just using basic salt instead of the soy sauce. Okay, in addition I have uh, paprika here, onion powder, black pepper, and oregano. If you don't have onion powder, go ahead and use garlic powder. The first thing you want to do is turn your burner on like a medium high heat. Pour one tablespoon of oil into your frying pan and just move that around. I really love making this recipe because it, it really makes a lot with ingredients that most people have except for maybe the cabbage. The next thing you want to do is pour three cups of water into the pan very carefully since I'm doing it with one hand. Go ahead and turn that burner all the way up. Now let this come to a boil. In the meantime, let's get this hot dog sliced up. Make sure that's nice and thinly sliced so it goes further. I know a pack of hot dogs is cheap, but you know, who doesn't want their food to go further no matter how cheap it is? Just because you would get something from a dollar store, it doesn't mean you don't want it to last, right? Now that our water is boiling and our hot dog is thinly sliced, let's get the hot dog into the water. I should have put that in a little more carefully. <laughs> I don't want to burn myself. We have the hot dog in the boiling water not only to cook it, but we are going to flavor our rice with it. So let's put in our one and a half cups of dry rice. Just mix that all together and let it come to a boil again. Now turn it down to a simmer. Let's set our timer for 10 minutes. While the timer is going down on your rice, take that opportunity to cut up your carrot and cabbage. I have a purple cabbage here. I'm just going to cut up the equivalent in thin slices of about one and a half cups of cabbage. I like using green cabbage for this kind of saute usually, but uh, we happen to have this on hand. I'm not going to let it go to waste. So that's what I'm using here for this. I've got my one and a half cups of sliced cabbage here. So just make sure these carrots are cut up into matchstick style pieces. You can also cut them up into, you know, coins if you want, but I like to do it like this. All right, the timer is up on the rice. Let's check on our rice. All right, that looks really good. That looks really good. Now what we're going to do with this fluffy rice here is it, it is time to integrate our eggs into this dish. So turn the burner back up to medium. And we are going to just use a technique here for scrambling our eggs that allows us to do this in one pot. So have the egg. Now you want to work quickly when you do this as well. Just take your fork and go ahead and just scramble this on top 
of the rice, spreading it wide, spreading it wide, like that. And the steam is going to help it cook, but we're also going to turn this around in the pan. So get your spatula and just start moving this around so that some of the eggs go towards the bottom of the pan. So I don't know if you can see here, but the egg has basically cooked through now after I've turned this around in the pan a couple of times. So what you want to do now is just take this off the heat briefly. So turn the burner off and just move your pan off the burner for a minute. Just let that cool slightly. Let's turn our burner back to medium and bring the pot back into place. Now, what you want to do is move your rice and hot dog mixture to one side of the pan. Now, let's get another tablespoon of oil in the pan on this side here. Just spread that oil a little bit. Let's get these peanuts here, one third cup of peanuts into the pan, like that. And then get the carrot here that you sliced up, as well as the cabbage. Now quickly saute this around on this side. And we are going to integrate this rice back in as well. These uh, one pot dishes are really convenient for not getting more dishes messy. Sometimes you just have to employ a couple of techniques to make sure that your meal turns out right. So just stir this for another minute or two. Now it's time to integrate all of the ingredients together. Go ahead and turn your burner off. And now we're going to add our herbs and spices and flavoring. Add in two tablespoons of soy sauce. And mix well. Now, if you don't have two tablespoons of soy sauce available, go ahead and use about three quarters of a teaspoon of uh, table salt or sea salt. Quarter of a teaspoon of paprika. Quarter of a teaspoon of onion powder. Quarter of a teaspoon of oregano. And an eighth of a teaspoon of black pepper. This recipe is really good if you are a college student or if you are somebody like that lives on your own or doesn't have enough time, you can make it for as many or as little servings as you want as long as you use the right measurements. You don't have to have a lot of money to eat something tasty. So I have my serving here. Now, all I'm going to do is top this with just a little bit more paprika here. You can also put green onion on top of this, but my green onion is currently buried under about eight inches of snow. So I'm not going to dig through it right now, but it does make the perfect addition to this. Okay, so you can see we've got our hot dog here, our cabbage, We've got scrambled eggs in here, we've got rice, and we have peanuts. And we've got some oil and spices and soy sauce. So let's get ourselves a nice bite. I'm gonna have a little bit of hot dog in here. 
little bit of cabbage, a little bit of everything. This is gonna be a big bite, guys. I don't know if I can if I can do this. Okay, this is not gonna be very ladylike. Mmm. That's really good. I really like that. In the comments, guys, please tell me how would you customize this dish for yourself? What would you add to it? What would you take away from it? I'd really like to know. Please stay safe and warm and I will talk to you in the comments.